These are similar to the stones we have in um, Afghanistan. I've seen the red flame many times when the weather conditions are just right. I'm not a man of science myself, Captain. Just a simple farmer. However, I can believe in exploding gas more readily than a fallen angel. Can you make it happen now? Not in this light. And there will need to be more moisture in the air. If I were able to demonstrate this in front of some of your men, do you think they would stop worrying about the devil? Perhaps. But it would take an awful lot more to get them to stop worrying about the British. Is that Trenton? Just a farmhouse, I think. Trenton is further downriver. I wish it were closer. Your hospitality has been most kind after the misunderstanding with Caleb and his scouts. But I could sure use a comfortable hotel with a well-stocked saloon. Saloon? A tavern. The town has been the unfortunate host of over 1,000 Hessian soldiers. I expect that they have depleted most of Trenton's saloons. We passed by there a few days ago. I heard there weren't as many as a thousand. Besides, won't they keep a reserve for their Christmas celebrations? Christmas? That won't be for another... Is it that late in December? I haven't written Congress for supplies or money in so long. I seem to have lost track of the date. Supplies? I heard that German soldiers were handing out extra blankets. Are you coming, Captain? Or do I have to send Caleb and his men after you again? I'm right behind you, sir. Captain? Vitaris? He died just after you left. They moved him out here. I wouldn't be surprised if they planned to burn the body. You did your best, Doc. When will RT try to bring us back? He can't give us an exact time. Something about time distortion. He'll signal right before activating. Were you able to collect enough hydrogen? Yes, sir. It's compressed in this. Did you find the rocks? How long to extract the cadmium? Just a few minutes, sir. We'll need something to trigger a spark. Got it covered. I heard he had died. I wanted to see it for myself. All of God's creatures have a limited lifespan, young man, and are deserving of respect. Amen. The general was meeting with his commanders. He told me to tell you to go ahead with your demonstration. The atmospheric conditions are almost right. We must also leave. Our ship will soon sail, and we want to go home. The general has decided that you will not betray us to the British. He is usually a good judge of character. You are free to leave. Mr. Hayes? I'm confused. Your army allows servants to wear uniforms? I am a soldier and an officer, not a servant. Where I come from, that is not unusual. My apologies. Let's do this. Time is of the essence. Gentlemen! Your Jersey devil is dead. I submit to you, he was not the devil at all, but a man. A man from another land that died of a fever. Now I realize he gave you quite a start when you saw him, and I can understand why you thought it was a supernatural event. But I can prove that what you saw 
was a result of very natural series of coincidence. I caught most of that, but you're going to have to speak a little plainer for my men here. He appeared out of nowhere from the depths of hell. I saw the flame. What you saw was this. Mr. Hayes? See that patch of fog up there? No. I don't see anything. Wait. I think I see it. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Barely. It's gas. Like what you see over a cow field on a summer night. In my country, the magicians that perform tricks for entertainment. They use this gas to fool people into believing they can appear or disappear. How? By igniting the gas with a spark from a special rock, like this. This man must have been walking in the gas without knowing it and stepped on some of those rocks causing a spark. He was as surprised as you were. Here, you try it. You see that patch of gas over there? No. Where? Over there. See it? Next to that stump. I see the stump over there. Good work. You two should take your act on the road. Sir, signal for Commander Tackett. Ten seconds of transport. Perfect timing. It's all right, sir. It was all just a trick. I know. I saw them leave. Should we follow them? No. Let's put all this behind us and deal with the matter at hand. Report to Colonel Glover. He will put your boating skills to good use. Yes, sir. Captain, it's good to see you. Thanks for bringing us back, Mike. I look forward to hearing how you did it, but later. Send me back down. Me too. The body as well? Yes. Thanks to you, R.T. Not all, apparently. No, sir. Not all. His environmental compensator was damaged. He paid a terrible price for his actions. Captain, I apologize sincerely for what has happened. It was not our intention to put you through this ordeal. The rest of us are all right now. But I think we left behind an awful lot of questions. What has changed? Yes. What's different? Everything looked normal when we got back on the ship. We were only there for a moment. Nothing's changed from my perspective. You two are just as I remember. <laughs> 